think it's important to note a few things when we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2. One is that the system has not been officially announced. It has been confirmed to exist. Nintendo constantly saying they're working on new hardware and back in 2021 and again this year and last year noting that Nintendo accounts will move forward to their next platform. So they're confirming that this thing exists, but that's about it. They're not telling us when it's gonna come. They're not giving us even a code name, although this could change coming up on May 7th because that's Nintendo's next investors meeting. And if the system is supposed to release before the end of next year, they might need to say something to actual investors because they're not allowed to lie to them about financial things. And if there's a new platform coming within the fiscal year, they would have to give a different answer other than we don't plan to release anything in the current fiscal year. Nah, they'd have to actually have a no comment or uh, we will reveal when it's time. Basically, we'll get some sort of hint if it actually is coming out in the next fiscal year or I guess the current, well, no, we're still in March. So yeah, April 1st, next fiscal year. So that is true. It's also true that there's been a ton of rumors around this thing, including it being possibly revealed in June. Look, we don't really know. The old rumors were saying March, and then within the, a week of those rumors, it became June. So take that for what you will. But what's very interesting, of course, is when we actually get developers talking about Nintendo Switch 2. Now, the closest thing we've had to this was the GDC poll that went out to current developers that attend the Game Developers Conference and asked them about what platforms they're planning to or are currently making games for. And we saw an 8% thing listed for Nintendo's next gen hardware, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's still not, you know, confirming an individual game or anything for the platform, but it was nice to see that developers are admitting that some of them have dev kits and they're working on things. That's nice, but how about some real information about an actual developer that is currently planning and has publicly now stated they're working on a game for Nintendo Switch 2? That's right, we have our first confirmation of an actual game developer publicly throwing out there they're working on something for switch 2 or at least plan to work on something for switch 2 and we can actually put a name to it all of this was discovered by one of our favorite youtube content creators out there the connoisseur of going through all of the hiring posts and all the linkedin profiles mr doc trey 81 and he put out a whole five minute video on this which is pretty long for him because there's a lot to go over so let's head on over to his video here and you're seeing that in this section we're talking about ace maddox they are the developer studio we're talking about and in particular this project you're seeing on the front of the page this project Fumiax, the 1945 Air Force officers began work on a secret research project in the California desert, codenamed MX-981. The purpose of MX-981 was to test how extreme gravitational forces from fast-moving fighter jets would impact the human body. Now, this is what the game is about. But what's interesting is when we dive deeper into this and get into some specifics. So he goes over here talking about how they are looking for some people here. So PlayStation 5, C++ software engineers. This is weird, right? Because it's mentioning PlayStation 5, so where does Switch 2 come in? Well, first let's get into what they're looking for. So Ace Maddox is looking for remote C++ software engineers with a PlayStation game development background to work on proprietary engine Focal Knot for Project Fumiax. Fumiax, I don't really know how you say it. A vehicle aircraft based action game that's in development. So the same thing in development right now, and they're looking for some people. Now, here are some of the requirements. So it says expectations are to have a strong practical knowledge of C, experience working on proprietary 3D engine tools and plugins for Blender, a positive mindset. Every issue is an opportunity to improve existing code. You are ready to analyze and improve performance as required. Perform high quality debugging and fix current errors and warnings. Don't even think about muting a warning. Experience debugging across a variety of hardware configurations. Enthusiastic about current and next gen consoles and eager to learn more. Learn more, interesting. Knowledge of multi-threaded engine architecture with respectable but limited number of threads to ensure technical scope is manageable. Timely, structured, and self-motivated individuals are preferred. Trustworthy is a high integrity, etc. Pluses are three or more years of hands-on experience working with PlayStation, at least one ship title, whether indie or A+. So that gets into AAA, AA, etc. Strong interpersonal communication skills, proficiency in trigonometry, and linear algebra. Hey, I keep telling people to be a programmer, you gotta be good at math. Now, that's obviously all nice, but what does this have to do with Nintendo Switch 2? 
Oh, right here. The project notes, this is notes on this project. Our focal knot engine is being developed primarily for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. Roadmap ambition, feature complete in quarter three of 2025. Now that might be the specific engine or the game. We're not really sure. I think it's probably the engine if I had to guess. They want a feature complete. The target platforms are PlayStation 5 and Xbox, Nintendo Switch 2, Windows 11, Steam Deck, and Mac OS. Now, the expected development cycle for Project Fumi X is scheduled to begin on December 1st, 2025 and run for 36 months. That part's a little strange. It's a little weird because they want to be feature complete in Q3, but then development Q1 is at Q3 for the engine or the game. I don't really understand. There could be some typos in here. This could be a copy paste hiring post, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They want Visual Studio 2023 plus and all of that as well. So that's all fine and dandy. And what this leaves us with is confirmation of an engine slash game that's going to be compatible with Nintendo Switch 2. That is the plan. And while the person they're hiring right now, they want to focus on PlayStation, that might mean they already have people in place to work on the Switch 2 version, or maybe they'll be hiring more people for that in the future. The whole point is it is a public mention by a real development studio that has already put games out that yes, they are working on something for Nintendo switch to and they're putting it out there publicly now will nintendo now contact them now that this is getting you know attention and tell them hey you need to take down that nintendo switch to mention that's entirely possible we can't know how nintendo's going to react to this do does the studio have dev kits i look we, we were hearing about triple a dev kits going out last year if this is more of an indie studio as possible they're starting to get their dev kits this year we're obviously going to get more and more rumors and leaks around this thing at some point this year whether it's for manufacturing or just nintendo announcing the system which i guess isn't a leak then that's just nintendo being forthright and letting us know what's up so again this to me is mostly exciting because this was a previously unknown thing and it's the first development studio studio publicly admitting they are making something for switch 2. that's the exciting part because it just makes switch 2 real right we talk about all the rumors we talk about inside sources and everything else but this is a public studio talking about it Guys, it just it just makes it real. Now, does it mean it's gonna be called Switch 2? Is that just what they're calling it publicly because they don't wanna give away the real name? Maybe it actually is called Nintendo Switch 2. I know some of you Switch Attached lovers out there might be very upset about this, but whatever the case might be, that's what we have for you today. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Obviously, we can't talk about whether you're excited for this or not because again, we don't really know much about the project, but hey, we have a development studio out there publicly admitting they are making games for Switch 2. That is awesome. Catch you guys in the next video.